might soon be getting involved in the fight against coronavirus by detecting people who become infected. Truly remarkable stuff here. My colleague Sarah Blomquist joining us live remotely with homes on uh, details on this fascinating program in West Philadelphia, Sarah. It is, Brian, isn't it? The Penn Vet Working Dog Center launched a canine scent detection study. The goal is for dogs to one day be able to smell the virus in patients during screenings. Dogs have up to 300 million smell receptors, and experts say they are the perfect animal to help out with disease detection. Action News reporter Corey Davis spoke with the doctor leading this research team. Some people are describing the training being done here at Penn Vet Center as revolutionary. That will certainly be the case if the dogs are actually able to smell COVID-19 within a person. This is an example of what training will be like for eight dogs at the Penn Vet Working Dog Center, learning how to detect whether a person is infected with COVID-19. I often describe dogs as seeing the world through their noses, but sort of smelling in color. Dr. Cindy Otto says it's all about detecting the odor of the virus. She's leading the study for the University of Pennsylvania, telling us dogs are already able to smell diseases like ovarian cancer inside someone's body. We have worked with diabetes alert dogs. We have worked with dogs that can detect bacterial infections. The goal is to drive forward new measures of testing for COVID-19, such as screening people in large crowds. Just as we see the TSA dogs in the airports screening people as they walk by for explosives, um, it, it would be that kind of a concept. Dr. Otto also says social distancing would be key. How fast of a process do, do, you, do you just have to walk by the dog or does the dog like go by your legs or how does it work? Yeah, so that's going to be a great question. Um, again, we're going to take this from our, our knowledge of dogs that can detect when um, diabetics have a low blood sugar. Those dogs are able to actually smell the change in that person. Um, usually from a reasonable distance. Otto tells us the potential is there, but says there's still a lot to learn. If we can prove that the dogs can help us to move things forward, it's not just COVID, but it would be maybe the next pandemic. Dr. Otto tells us they're also communicating with animal researchers around the world in hopes of working together. She says they expect to know the results of this study by early June. In West Philadelphia,